Who taught you how to hate the color of your skin and told you that you weren't born to hold the stories of your mother and father to your heart as you write your own? That you shouldn't lead a life from a place of brown love. The type of love that kept you alive and taught you how to live. Who told you to allow other people to mispronounce your name? The ahs and e's and o's that they so willingly neglect with their untrained tongues. Who taught you? how to hate yourself, the creases in your body, your small stature and your personality that can fill rooms and the texture of your hair and the way the tip of your nose rounds like a tomato. Who taught you how to forfeit your truth and surrender your you when you were created in God's perfect image? Brush your shame from your shoulders and thank them for bearing the weight of generations and generations and generations worth of pain and acceptance of inferiority. Stand in your power, in your brownness, your strength that is cut from the fabric woven by your ancestors. Stand in all they are so desperate to take away. So there's that piece. Um, I'll reset the energy in the room with something a little bit more tame. <laughs> um, this is a poem, another untitled piece where I confront my fear of the dark. I used to be afraid of the dark because it would remind me of what I didn't know, of the times I would lay awake fighting to keep my eyes open as if staying conscious kept me from being met with mortality. My fear of the dark was an entry point for my awakening. I knew it. I felt it. If I encountered darkness with the same tenderness I was offered by light, the vastness would instead embrace me, not engulf me, welcome me home instead of abandon me, because I am made of sun. And when I pour my light into places and people who only know emptiness, the darkness is afraid of me too. Thank you.